So um, at first I want to thank you for this wonderful chance to be here. My name is Caroline. I'm from the south of Germany and I'm a nutritionist. I studied in Gießen where also Christina studied and I studied um, nutrition science in Münster for my master's degree. Now I'm in Göttingen in the center of Germany and the former head of my institute, um, perhaps someone knows him, he's Volker Pudel and he validated the three-factor eating questionnaire for the German population and invented a five-factor eating questionnaire and I'm working now with this. Um, but first, um, everyone knows the sentence, oh, without my coffee in the morning, I can't start the day or I'm addicted to chocolate. But um, in DSM-5, which was um, 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 released in 2013, um, caffeine is one of this um, substance abuse and addictive um, elements, but there's no, nothing to eating or food. And so um, the Yale Food Addiction Scale was released to look whether there is a food addiction or not and um, how is the prevalence of food addiction. And um, I um, invented this questionnaire in a representative sample in Germany. And I got as a result that almost 8% of the whole German population have a food addiction um, dependent on this VIFAS. And especially the underweight and the obese people have higher prevalence rates of food addiction. Um, and when you go, um, when you separate the obesity in the three obesity classes, then you have a prevalence rate of 31% in obese grade three persons. And now I want to see how is the prevalence rate in bariatric patients in patients following a 52 weeks um, weight loss program in Germany and I'm also working with patients with eating disorders like anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. And we are also asking the question, is there a food addiction or is it an eating addiction? Um, what is the potential and um, how is the contribution to obesity and the related healthcare outcomes. So um, if you have um, something to add to this, um, I'm happy about it. And I want to get in touch to some of all these inspiring people. And I want to thank you that I can.